Welcome to Hood Wars Stories. In this episode, I'll be discussing the life of Johnny Wachter. John William Wachter was born on August 31st, 1986, in Charleston, South Carolina. Growing up in Somerville, Johnny was drawn to acting from an early age. He participated in every play he could in school. After graduating college in 2009, he packed up his things, got in his Honda Civic, and made the cross-country drive to Los Angeles to start his acting career. He made his television debut with Amy Wives in 2007. He went on to have roles in other shows, including Westworld, Criminal Minds, and Station 19. But he's best known for his time in General Hospital, where he played Brando Corbin from 2020 and ended in 2022 when his popular character was written off the show. At that time, he enjoyed the show's large and loyal fan base. Johnny had recently been exploring opportunities in screenwriting while working temporarily as a bartender at the Level 8 bar in downtown LA in the early hours of May 25th, 2024, around 3.25 AM. Johnny was walking his co-worker Anita to her car after their shift. On the way, he noticed a group of men crowded around his car. Initially, he thought he was being towed. When Johnny arrived at his vehicle, he saw that the three individuals had his car raised up with the floor jack and were in the process of stealing the catalytic converter. Catalytic converters are popular targets for thieves because they are rich in precious metals that could later be resold. Johnny told the men that it was his car and for them to leave. That's when one of the individuals produced a gun and at close range, fired a shot striking Johnny. The bullet penetrated his chest. Paramedics rushed Johnny to the hospital, where he was pronounced dead. The three suspects involved were wearing all dark clothing and driving a dark colored sedan. They fled northbound on Hope Street. Johnny's death sparked an outpouring reaction from the community, with dozens attending a rally in June demanding justice. Frustration had been building among Johnny's family and friends as months went by without any information about the three suspects, leaving the killing unsolved. In mid-August of 2024, a break in the investigation happened when four men were arrested in the slain of Johnny. These men were documented members of the Florencia 13 gang, who are known as the largest, deadliest Mexican gang in Los Angeles. The investigation that focused on Florencia 13 members tied to catalytic converted thefts in the region. After reviewing videos and interviewing witnesses, homicide detectives with LAPD identified three men, one with distinctive facial tattoos, who they say jacked Johnny's car before shooting and killing him. A statement of probable cause used to obtain search warrants. Name Robert Barcelo, Sergio Estrada, and Leonel Gutierrez as the suspects. They were all age 18. Police said their fingerprints matched those lifted from the floor jack they used while trying to steal Johnny's catalytic converter. All three were booked on suspicion of murder and are currently being held on $2 million bail. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.